Hey everybody, it's Sunday, December 13th, Sunday the 13th, and uh, I have my apron on, I'm not doing a cooking video, no, you don't want me to do one, but I decided while I was talking to you, I was going to do a, something else at the same time, two things at one time, think I could do it? I don't know about that. I might be stopping to uh, um, get things organized. I cook practically every day. Do I like to cook? No, I don't like to cook. I never like to cook, but it's healthier. So I have these fresh vegetables I'm gonna chop up and I hope there's not too much rattling. In fact, boy, I bought all these green beans. I think, um, can you freeze green beans? Well, maybe I'll cook them and then freeze them. How's that? Plus, um, I'm going to steam some broccoli because I'm going to make spaghetti. Well, angel hair pasta with garlic and broccoli and oil. I, um... I have food allergies. I have to watch what I eat. Plus, I'm on a pre-diabetic diet. I've mentioned that before. So I have to watch what I eat, too. And the doctor said to me last time I went, he said, well, how much more weight do you think you want to lose? And I said, well, I'd like to lose 10 more pounds. And he said, he said to me, well, don't worry about it too much. Well, I guess because you get older, they don't want you to lose that much weight. You know, in case you get sick, you have something to fight it off with. So, uh, I would like to lose 10 more pounds, to tell you the truth. I'm at 133 right now. I'm only five foot one, barely. So if you look at the charts, that says, um, really says I should lose more than that, but I don't think that would be too good, to be honest with you. If I could get myself down to even 125. 125 pounds. <laughs> you know, I've been like this my whole life. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. The fact that I've always had to watch my weight. I've never really been fat. The most I ever took clothes size, I think it was size 12 i was going up to a 14 i said oh i better watch this because uh you know that's too much but i'm a size 810 now in fact i bought a sweater dress and it was 810 i told myself this is going to be tight no it's not tight it's fine so that's my christmas dress i'll probably uh wear it on christmas so, what can I tell you today? I just came back from the dollar store. I'd seen one of the YouTube videos and someone bought these really cute planners. But my dollar store's, the store doesn't have half the stuff that's shown. I watch these videos and I'm like, where do they find this stuff? I can never find it. I did get binders. I had to get binders for work because I have to get things uh, organized. Um... I get this email, work email. You've been selected. I've been selected, great. What does that mean? You know that's not good news when they say that. Yeah, I've been selected for this one project they're trying to push. So I first, um, well, I, I contacted my manager and I asked him about it and he goes, you know, you don't have to do it. I said, you know what? If you can help me with this, if we can all work together, I'm going to do it. So, like my son says, I'm only working part-time. Why am I stressing this out? I just told him I don't want to work full-time. I don't. It's not tax-wise. It doesn't help me any to work with my... Uh, um, I get a railroad pension. I don't get uh, Social Security. 
and my I get my railroad pension, um, my other pension, and uh, I work. So after a while, things start to be uh, get taxed too much, and I don't want that. And I'm the tax lady, so I know about that. So let's talk about what is trivia today. I'm not going to talk too much today. Um, I might touch on one of my my uh, encounters with well-known people in part. I don't think I'm going to go into too much detail. But what was the first American film? See, I'm supposed to be chopping, not talking. But what's the first American film to show a toilet flushing on the screen? I bet if some of you know that. It's um, Psycho by Alfred Hitchcock. And I forgot a pan. Oh, there's my pan. All right. Now, Psycho never bothered me. And never, and they never made me scared to go in the shower. The movie by Alfred Hitchcock that really got to me and still I'm scared of are the birds. The birds swooping down and attacking you. Because you know they do that in real life. <laughs> if they think you're a threat, they'll just swoop down and get you. So that still unnerves me. I, I can't watch the... Um, film really so that's the film that got to me I also don't like heights but it won't stop me from going in a plane just I have problems on a ladder because I lose all perspective I can't judge how high I'm up and the next step down oh well you all have our problems don't we <laughs> So, birthdays today. Jamie Foxx was born 1967. He won an Oscar for portraying Ray Charles in Ray. That was a good movie. I like that. I always like Ray Charles, too. Very talented. And also, it's the birthday of Mary Todd Lincoln the wife of Abraham Lincoln. She was born in 1818 and died in, what is it, 1882. So, she was a wife of a very famous man who unfortunately was assassinated. And she was beside him when he was shot. Oh, that was horrible. So, that's about it. I'll tell you about one of my encounters. Um, I don't know if any of you are baseball fans. I've always been a baseball fan. My father used to be an umpire. He brought us up on baseball. And I like baseball. I'd rather go to a live game than watch it on TV. Like most games, I'd rather go see it in person. But, um, the former manager of the New York Yankees was a man called Billy Martin. And I'm trying to think when he, I think he was manager in the 80s. I can't remember. I should have looked that up. He was a character. He and the owner of the Yankees, George Steinbrenner, always fighting. George Steinbrenner would fire him one week, hire him back the next, back and forth. And Billy Martin had a terrible temper. Well, I lived in New Jersey at the time. And there used to be a bar we went to that Billy Martin used to frequent. I'm not a heavy drinker. I like I, all I can do is drink one or two. But I do like going out for a drink sometimes. So I used to go to this place sometimes with my brother and his friends. Of course, I can't remember the name of the place, and it's probably not there anymore. It was a couple towns over from where we lived. So 
Well, Billy Martin used to go there. When he came in, everybody knew not to bother him. Well, if you, well, not everybody. They were warned, do not bother him. So we were there one night, Billy Martin was down the end of the bar. And uh, I'm sitting there. I had seen him there before. And you know, he comes in, I'd, I'd say, hello, Mr. Martin, how are you? You know, leave him alone. I always do that. I don't collect autographs. I don't bother people. Um, so I'm sitting there talking to my brother and his friends, and all of a sudden a drink appears in front of me. If I don't drink beer, I drink wine, or I'll have a rum and coke. So this, I was drinking rum and coke that night. So rum and coke is appears in front of me. I said, where did this come from? And the bartender says to me, Mr. Martin sent it over. He only sends it to me, he did send it to my brother or his friends. So I, you know, went down and said, thank you, Mr. Martin, thank you for the drink. And he goes, do you know why I sent you that drink? And I said, no, but I appreciate it. He said, you never bother me. You just say hello, you leave me alone, and you're always polite. So I got a drink off Billy Martin. And I got teased for it, trust me, because my brother and his friends were like, well, you didn't get a drink from Billy Martin. How come you got a drink from Billy Martin? And believe me, Billy Martin wasn't trying to pick me up. I've never had the looks for that. And, and people say, well, don't put yourself down. I'm sorry. Men like that, they don't go for people who look like me. They don't. And I always knew that. So I learned that a long time ago. And you can't change the way you look. And I wasn't going to try. So I just accepted it. But the thing is, at least I could be friends with the guys. You know, there was one guy I worked with who was gorgeous. But I wasn't his type. Of course I wasn't his type. But we were, got to be very good friends. And some of the people, some of the girls used to be jealous. It's like, how come he talks to you? I said, because we're friends, nothing else. You know, if he had a problem, he'd come to me. I've always had the temperament. People come to me with their problems. I don't know what it is. I must look like uh, Mrs. Freud or something. But, um, plus, I respect what they tell me. And I never spread it around. Plus, I don't remember half the time. So, very easy, right? If you don't remember what people confiding in you sometimes, it's very, you don't have to think about, like, dropping any, any uh, secrets because you don't remember. So that's about it. I will hope, let you go as if I'm keeping you, right? Um, have a good night and the giveaway ends tomorrow. And that's about it. Take care.